love the fact that you're not signing a contract. When you get a phone contract now, a business can call you and they will discuss with you, hey, this is the new phone you want. Fantastic. And you get in the new phone, um, you know, we're going to uh, just say read out some of the, the terms and the conditions so that when you agree and say yes at the end that you verbally agree, we can then give you the phone. There is a verbal contract in the gray area that must be spoken of. And when it's not spoken of, anybody can do anything. It's unregulated. Right? Let's have this in the verbal contract. I like that. That's the first point there. The gray area. The verbal contract. The gray area is about the verbal contract. You must be defining what you want. A company will not just give you a phone without you agreeing to the terms and the conditions. Have you agreed to these terms and conditions? Whether you don't say anything or you say something, you are agreeing or declining the terms of the conditions. And since you created the gray area, right, you have the power also to issue what the terms and the conditions are of this particular place of meeting. What did I say the gray area is? It's a place of meeting between yourself and another party. So talking about the gray area, what seals the deal is the verbal contract. F boys love it when you... Don't say anything. F boys love it when you're not a hundred percent sure about what you want. F boys, F boys and F girls, I should say, love the fact that you know what you, yeah, you are authoritative with what you really want, right? They love that. Absolutely love it. They love it. When you yourself are not strong on the points in terms of what you need from them. Because they are all about what? Pushing boundaries. That's what F-boys are about. Okay? F-boys and F-girls, I should say, they love to push boundaries. Within the verbal contract, they want to push boundaries. Okay? And the reason why they put and the way they push boundaries is by testing the boundaries.